Aftershark Games here coming at you with another command tutorial for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Today's tutorial is going to be on the clone command. So to start off here, the clone command works pretty similar to how the fill command works, being that our target coordinates are going to be the two outside corners of the object that you wish to copy. So this first coordinate here I went ahead and wrote down, and then I am going to actually stand here on the second target coordinate and we're going to go ahead and make two outside corners that make this square shape. And we're going to start off by doing a normal fill command. And we're going to send a copy of this building over there. And so I'm going to stand right here. And we're going to go ahead into the chat. And we're going to type in forward slash clone. And then we're going to do my position that I'm standing on. And then we're going to do that other green block, which was 286.4.103. Yes, that's what it was. And then we're going to choose a destination coordinate and we're going to do 286, 4, and then this time I'm going to do 125 as my coordinate. And then we're going to hit enter. And what we've done now is we've sent an entire copy, clone copy that is, of this structure over here. And it included the contents, which in this case is just air. So then we're going to come back over here and we're going to do another version of the clone command. On um, This version is what's called the filtered version. The filtered version can take one type of block or multiple types of blocks if you list them and select only those and move them. So we're going to try to move over to that green dot over there and we're going to select just stone bricks. So they're going to go ahead and type in forward slash clone. Then I'm going to type in my position, and then I'm going to type in the secondary position on the target. And then we're going to choose our destination, which is going to be... Here's my destination coordinates. And then we're going to type filtered. And then we're going to do normal this time. And then we're going to choose the types of blocks we'd like to move. I'm choosing stone bricks. And then zero means the tile data. So that just chooses basic stone bricks. And we're going to hit enter. And you can see over here next to the green dot, now I've copied just the stone bricks, no glass, no air, no regular stone, whatever other materials I had used there. So that's the filtered mode. And then there's another mode that we can do as well. It's called the masked mode. And what the masked mode is going to do is it's going to select all the solid blocks, no air. So it's going to select everything in the build that's not air. And it's going to put that into the area that you select for destination. So one more time here, we're going to go forward slash clone. I'm going to choose my position. I'm going to choose my secondary position. And then I'm going to choose a destination this time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to surround that orange cube to my right with this structure, but we're not going to affect that orange cube. So we're going to go masked mode, and then we're going to do normal, and then we're going to hit enter. And then when we come over here, you can see that the idea is, oh, I didn't leave myself a doorway, but the idea is that you can have a smaller structure surrounded with a larger structure as long as you make sure when you do the clone command that the smaller structure um, is basically the size of the air in the larger structure. So that right there is the masked version of the command. And that goes through our three options in that first pop-up. So we're going to have forward slash clone, my coordinates, the second set of coordinates, and then the destination coordinates, which for us this time we're going to go way off in the distance and we're going to try 151 okay and then this time what we're going to do is we're going to actually move this structure and delete the one that I'm standing on and put it way off in the distance so you can see we've covered filtered masked and replace so we're going to actually go for the normal version of this command which is technically a replace mm -hmm. and then we're going to look at our three options here now we have force move and normal throughout the video we've been using normal this whole time now for the first time we're going to try out move what move is going to do is take this structure and replace it with air and put the exact copy in another spot so we're going to type in move and you can see I fall to the ground no more structure and way off in the distance I've now got another copy of the structure over here that's exactly correct 
Now the final version, uh, or final option rather, on the clone command, if we go back in there, we'll go boom, we'll choose those old coordinate sets just for the sake of having it pop up, and then we're going to type in replace, and then you can see that the first option that was there was force, and what force means is if your first two set of coordinates, meaning your target set of coordinates, and your third set of coordinates, meaning your destination coordinates, so if those intersect, if I was going to try to copy this structure and about halfway through the structure I wanted to make my exact copy to kind of intersect them, I would pop up with a syntax error. Um, so what you can do is type force and it will actually force the clone command to clone within itself. So that's pretty much the gist of the clone command there. I'm going to add a few more videos here. Be on the lookout for them of a few uses that you can use for the clone command. Obviously st copying structures is a great use, but I actually recommend doing a structure block um, rather than a clone command when you're copying structures just because it gives you, you know, a few more chances to rotate the object and stuff like that if need be. Um, as far as structure block goes, I'll have to add a video on those as well. Uh, I think that's pretty much your best your best choice as far as moving structures goes. Um, but the clone command is a great option. There's a few more things you can do with it that we will be making a video on, such as you can have unlimited chests and stuff like that as well. Well, thanks for watching, guys. As always, Arctic Shark Games here on YouTube as well as Twitch. Like and subscribe, and be on the lookout for more Bedrock Command videos.